Morning everyone, it's Justin Bullins, your Type D product manager. I wanted to go over a new feature that we're going to be releasing in the next couple days. Um, this is our Stage 2 Lite feature. With that system, you're going to get a couple new things in the switch panel here. So you're going to get two indicator lights. One is a do not cross, one is a cross, and then there's going to be a momentary switch. And we'll discuss that as we continue over the functionality of the system. So the way this system is activated is through your red warning light system. So I'm going to go ahead and activate those. Once the red warning lights are activated, you're going to see the pilot light there saying that your reds are activated. And then also you're going to see this red do not cross indicator on the switch panel. So now I want to come out here and explain what's happening from the, the child's perspective as they're trying to get on and off the vehicle. So with the system activated as it is now, the, the light on the front is going to default to red, meaning that it's not safe to cross. The driver is going to be surveying the area and they're going to determine when it's safe for the child to either get on the vehicle or uh, go across the street to um, unload. So while they're doing that, there's a, this momentary switch we discussed has this walk symbol on here. So once we're ready to cross the street, the driver will hold that. And you can see here that this light has turned green, meaning it's safe to cross. Now, once the driver has determined it's safe for the child to cross the street, you're gonna see that red light go away and then this green light on the bumper is gonna be visible, letting the child know that it is now safe to cross. You're gonna notice that that light is shielded a bit, and that's intentional. What we're trying to do is shield that away from oncoming traffic so it doesn't generate any confusion. Level of warning if the passenger is not responding to the lights out on the bumper there is the horns. So now if, if, the, if there's a situation where the child that's crossing the street is not responding well to the lights, there's also a secondary warning, which would be the horn. So once the child is either seated on the bus or they have safely made it across the street, then we're gonna to wanna to deactivate that system. So the way we do that is by just closing the door and deactivating the red warning lights and then your stage two lights will also deactivate. This is Justin Bullins, your Type D product manager. This feature is available on all products.